All right. Just got to pick up the crest, and then I can make my exit from the mansion for a time. Uh, I guess I can get a get along fine with just the pistol for the time being. Of course, you fill your inventory right up with here. It's four freaking items you got to carry. If you're playing as Chris, I would fill up two thirds of what space you have. I guess I would leave only the pistol and the ammunition left to carry. So if you wanted to go into this with a healing item, you'd have to sort of uh, make sure that you did this and then turned around and came back. Of course, how many people are going to have the, the thought to do that? You just unlock a new door after being stuck in the mansion for a while. You want to explore. Ah, shit. i push it out a bit. You really have to push it like that. I mean, your elbow's not even touching it. The infamous Resident Evil crank. This is the first of the Resident Evil cranks. More dogs. Ah! Of course, the old days when you didn't have auto-aim. <laughs> this is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Please respond. What the hell? Is nobody out there? Brad, this is Jill. I don't think Chris finds the um, radio until much further in the game, but that doesn't have any sort of gameplay repercussions. So that's that's a whatever. Oops. Now, this is something that bothers me immensely. A good portion of this game, meaning going through the guardhouse, the dormitory, and then back through the mansion, is going to be involving you more or less just looking for a uh, battery in order to operate a, a, an elevator in this area. Why? So you can cross over this area while the water is down. Now, of course, you have this thing open. The water clears out of here, but it creates a waterfall that you can't pass through. That doesn't make any sense. Seems like you wouldn't actually need to do this. You could either just swim across. God forbid you have to swim for a couple of seconds. 
or you could just sort of hop on the grass and run around. Why the hell can't you do that? To make it worse, we get down here and look at the waterfall that's preventing our access, and it's barely anything. Here's the elevator down here. And we can't even just like hop down the shaft or anything like that. And look at this. How is that stopping our entry? Really? That's stupid. <laughs> but whatever, it's a freaking video game. One of the more frustrating camera angles. Whoa! Jill was firing out of my control there. I wasn't telling her to do that. She was just sort of going off. Pop, pop, pop. All right, we're in the dormitory. Let's take care of this little puzzle right here immediately. Dormitory is kind of shoddier looking in comparison to the main mansion. I'm not sure why the mansion exists if most of the people are gonna end up living in the dormitory. There we go. Two of them in here. Oh, was this an unnecessary uh, kill? It was an unnecessary kill. Control room key. Or C room key. <laughs> Item room. Awesome explosive rounds. And a FH spray. Yeah, I don't have that one. I think I always have a tendency to run past the first door. For no good reason. Yep. Oh, jeez. There's a code. You can do it right away. I forget what that code is. So I'm just going to wing it. Yep, 
Nope. 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 Do I gotta get all the lights on or off? <laughs> if the objective is to get the only the last one remaining, I got that down pretty good. <laughs> All right, stop and think about this for a second, you idiot. Okay, it's not getting them all off. There we go. I don't even think there's anything in there I wanted to do. Because <laughs> I think it might actually sort of be unnecessary in Jill's run-through. Though she can mix the chemicals on her own. Run, girl, run! I guess the kill was worth it, considering he had a clip in the sink. That's a good place to store your ammunition, by the way. In the sink. You never know when you're gonna have to kill your own reflection in the mirror. It's what, four for fifteen? This makes sense. Pretty sure this is the point in the game where you have your first sort of mention of the company umbrella. The UMB that's written on these crates here. Why is there a big gaping hole in this section of the hallway anyway? That is what I would like to know. Crate quizzes, box quizzes, box puzzles, that kind of thing. Man, it's such a common thing back in the day. You don't really see this anymore, I don't think. Not even in the later Resident Evil games do you see pushing boxes around, that kind of thing. Really makes you stare at that damn UMB logo. Of course, it's not the Umbrella logo. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, you're gonna take a swim now? You wouldn't do it earlier. I think there's an animation that'll play out if you go the right direction of the shark stalking you. But I'm not gonna get it. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. Jill took a lot of damage from that shark attack. Maybe it is true that she has sort of a lower vitality. They have a gigantic sump pump in this place. Look at the water damage. How long was this flooded? It's a lot of water for a tank that really wasn't that big either. How convenient that all this stuff got wrecked. Although, getting some ammunition is nice. And last dormitory key. Of course, there's the root of the plant 42. Uh, had I gone and done that crap with the with the poison, I would be unleashing it here. waste of ammo, but I had to do it, because it bit me. Alright, let's head back to Magic Item Box. It's not that far of a run. Dormitory's not large. The room back there, it's kind of a trap. I mean, you can go in there and you can find some stuff, but they got the two big spiders in there and they're a bitch to kill.
Oh, 20 minute mark. Always seems to happen around an item box. 